friends hello welcome back hope everybody's day has been going well we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge here today we're gonna get back to doing some of the challenge stuff around here. i miss doing it we're gonna try to make a 50 overall player and we're gonna try to get that 50 overall player to win the stanley cup now some of the most important factors in scoring goals in the nhl is having the right name joe nhl is just not gonna get the job done i'm thinking something more like trey yeah, Trey's a good first name to score goals, right? Trey, I don't know. Let's go with Trey Golixson. Yeah, that'll probably do it. That sounds like a 50 goal score if I've ever seen one. You gotta have the proper name combination. Trey Golixson, that's goals. That, they, they, they even fixed the play-by-play -play name. Dixon! I didn't know they did that this year. Good for them. He's gonna be a sniper. Has to be. Um, Where are we gonna put him on the ice? Uh, this is important because we're gonna put him with guys that can score goals obviously i think we put him at wing we put him at wing because you're, you're gonna want to play him with like a mcdavid right more than likely that's gonna be the way you want to go here i think um let's see salary that's yeah yeah you're perfect great you can be a 500k guy i thought the minimum was he's not a drafted guy i guess and free, free agent that'll be why all right so we're getting a steal on this guy we're getting a 50 overall 500k not a big deal height i don't know let's give him like six three but now nah, let's stay six no let's stay six one Wait, we're gonna drop the weight a little bit. He's been dieting. He knows Christmas is coming and he's trying to be out on the beach, so he's been dieting a little bit. There we go, 185. Attributes. Now, this is where the money's gonna be made. We're gonna go, obviously, franchise medium. Well, yeah, we'll do it. Who cares? We're gonna start at 50 overall. If he grows throughout the season, he grows throughout the season. We're gonna go franchise and him with the high potential. So, first of all, shoot pass bias. Has that always been a feature? When did we get one of those? Uh, let's talk accuracy. That's gonna have to be maxed out. We're gonna max out the slap shot accuracy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get away with this. We're gonna try to get away with it. We're gonna max out the accuracy, max out the power. Uh, we probably go like 95 on a power. We'll try 95 on a power. Really would like to get that up to 99. You know what? Let's try to get it to a 99. Let's try to max out both shooting stats. What else is important? Strength is kind of important when you shoot. We're gonna bump that up to about an 85. Acceleration, you gotta have speed out there when you're playing if you wanna be able to, again, score goals. If you don't have speed, it's gonna kill you. So we have to put the speed up, it's not an option. As far as something like body checking, completely irrelevant as a guy like this. We don't care if he can hit or not, we'll drop that. Oh man, endurance, puck control, Pat, that's gonna be tough. You don't want the guy to get tired. Endurance doesn't affect the overall too much. Run drop is up or bump his endurance up to an 85. We'll come back to the rest of these bad boys. Agility, acceleration, balance. Doesn't really matter if you can win face-offs. I don't think that's going to affect this. Oh, it does. All right, sweet. So it did drop his overall point. Durability. Injuries are always off anyway. Doesn't matter. We'll see if that changes his overall. I don't think it will because durability, no. You know, you would actually think that it doesn't. I, I, I get it. You kind of think it would affect your overall in games because, hey, you're, you're not, you can only play 60 games a year because of how bad your injuries are. You might not want that 85 compared to a guy who can play 82. Nonetheless, is deking. Man, deking, deking, deking. I don't think it's important. We're going to go 55 aggressiveness we don't need to worry about that that should be able to drop his overall a little bit we're not moving that overall needle very much right now that is not good it is poised we can drop that i i mean it'd be great if he could be poised out there and score the game winners but it is what it is if he can't shot blocking he's definitely not going to be doing any of that again we're not playing any sort of defense again offensive awareness defense awareness this is where things are once again going to be difficult we're gonna drop the fighting skill we'll drop the discipline we're gonna have to um do something about that defensive and offensive awareness because you can't stay a 66 on offense it's going to kill you but if we go up to say 85 he's up to a 60 overall so we have to drop the defensive awareness i really didn't want to drop his defensive awareness completely but if we had to do it we have to do it we'll drop to a 36 so he's done to a 52 that's good all right what else can we work with your hand eye how much would hand eye affect you we're gonna drop the deking all the way at this point we gotta do it um face offs down balance i don't know what balance how much balance affects in this game we're gonna find out because we're gonna drop it all the way down to yeah that'd be great but drop to a 36 why not all right oh man hmm I, we don't do we need pass uh, we're gonna drop the passing a little bit we're scoring goals we ain't passing a puck we'll drop to a 58 that way we can drop the puck or bump the puck control up to about can we get an 80 out of the puck control that'd be great we're 90 maybe yeah i got a 90 out of the puck control all right perfect so we got maxed out shot 90 puck control 90 speed i mean that's a friendly speed it's not a burner speed i mean it's good speed really it's close to a burner speed but Still, you got Ovi out there that scores goals left and right at a much slower speed. I think the poise is good. Hand-eye. It really would be nice if we get that hand-eye a little bit higher. 
I like to get the offensive awareness a little bit higher too. 85 is not the greatest. But I don't think we're going to be able to make that happen. We're running out of options here. We're going to try to jump the hand eye. See if we can get away with anything here. Yeah, we'll get away with a 75 on the hand eye. Let's try 80. See if that'll work. Yeah, let's try 85. Oh, yeah. I was saying just bump it on all the way up. If you say so, coach, we're going to do it. Apparently, hand eye does not affect your overall very much. That's nice to know because he's going to have a 99 hand eye. All right, so they're still at a 50 overall. Now, is there anything else we can possibly change here? Speed, good. Body checking, good. The endurance has... To, we might be able to move the endurance, too. It doesn't change the overall much. Yeah, 90. 95. Oh, yeah. Give us a 99 endurance. Oh, I can't get the 95. 99. All right, so we're good. 95. Puck control. I don't... Yep, that's not going to work. I say we're right on the bubble there. So that's definitely not going to happen. Um, passing 58. Man. Man, 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 man. I'd like to pass me better. It's not going to happen. We're definitely not changing the shot. That's got to be maxed out. Agility. I, I don't think agility matters that much. We're going to drop to a 55. We're going to drop agility to 55. We'll bump the passing up a little bit here to a 64. Yeah, that's great. 64. I think we're good. I don't think we're going to be able to change anything else here. The hand die is great. I'd love to, Again, I'd love to have some defensive awareness. The offensive awareness could be better. But it moves the needle so fast when you have offensive awareness. So we have to kind of do what we can with the offensive awareness. Here we go. Trey Golixson is ready to go. And before we continue on here, I just want to talk about our sponsor, Manscaped, real quickly here. There's only one ball we should be worrying about dropping this holiday season. That's in New York, not in your pants. Manscaped can help you with that with the precision engineered lawnmower 4.0 trimmer that can give you a precise, clean, and confident shave below the waist. Personally, the product I'm in love with here at Manscaped is the Crop Preserver. Now, yeah, sure, it's great and it's important. You want to be clean shaven down there, but you want to smell good too. Let me tell you what. This stuff, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it through the camera? Gotta take my word on it. It smells amazing. It's got that perfect masculine scent. It's not overpowering, but it's going to make you smell good. And hey, you can get both of these products and more with the Performance Package 4.0, the perfect gift for someone else or possibly yourself this holiday season. It not only includes the lawnmower, the crop preserver, but you can also get the weed whacker. You can get the crop reviver and you can get the magic mat along with that as well. And it comes along with a couple free gifts and a travel bag and some boxers. So go on, head on over to manscaped.com. Use code LEGACY20 for 20 percent off that's manscaped.com use code legacy 20 for 20 percent off your purchase the question is what team we're going to put them on i think it, it's got to be a slam dunk you put them on the oilers right is that the way to go in this game it's it's mcdavid and dry sidle see i don't want him to play a dry sidle though i just want mcdavid we don't need none of that dry sidle action he's still in our genos it'd be mcdavid uh, you always have crosby's overrun is great you have matthews but he's more of a goal scorer that's the thing with McDavid, though. He can do it all, too. We're going to do Edmonton. I'm going to put him at Edmonton. We'll see what the lines look like here. I mean, Edmonton's going to be pretty nasty if they got the dry saddle back on that second unit. It, where's he playing right now? He changed it. They changed that up so much. Those guys are just... There was. I remember there was a point, and I feel ignorant for thinking it. Now there was a point where I was like, you got to split those two up. They're so talented. Split them up. You know, put them on separate lines. And I mean, I'll tell you what. They're doing that right now. I'm putting up the points. That's ridiculous. But... I mean, they're, they're literally trying to put up two points a game together. How do you not want that? Changes the entire dynamic of the game. You're forced to almost essentially play the best defensive pair. I mean, you want to do it anyway. Play the best defensive pairing against those guys and make the rest of the, you know, lines have a little bit easier of a task out there. It's crazy. I think defense seems like, I don't know if you want to say they're just, the skill is that much better. The defense is getting a little bit softer because you get hit the same. It seems like some guys kind of give people like, like you've seen some plays this year where there's just been so much open ice it's like you know we've seen these guys one before coning them it's like well where in the heck was somebody to lay the body down on that one and just completely plow that guy right that's where my question is but i, I can't play hockey you know that's the thing too i'm i'm just some ignorant fan that doesn't have the clue but if i see four guys there you know surrounding him and you just let him skate circles around all three of you and score a goal i'm thinking one of you got to come up and lay the hit you got three other guys back there don't let him do that I don't know. Easier said than done. These guys are a heck of talents out there on the ice. Injuries off. I think that's the only thing we have to turn off in season mode. We should be good. We're going to the advanced settings just for a good time because I know you guys like it when I kill time. Not really, but <laughs> here we go. Let's jump into this bad boy. 
All right, let's see what we have to work with here. McDavid's going to be a good time to play with. Where's our friend? Uh, Perlini? Yeah, you're gone. You've been voted off the island. Trey Golickson is coming to take your place. Don't worry, he's a good backup. Hey, look at this guy. 50 overall, AHL potential. They changed his potential because he's a 50 overall. There's like nothing about that franchise makes sense. Which I get because he's 26. Dang, we needed it. How did we miss that? How do we not lower this guy's age? That's all right. It's a season. We're not in franchise mode anyway. Hopefully it doesn't change much. So we're going to go Golickson, Nugent Hopkins, McDavid. Puyar, you can play up here with Puyar. Don't worry. We're not going to go out there and exclude you, Puyar. But you're a solid player when you're not uh, COVID. Is that what he got right now? I think he's, he's out. I think that's what he's got. Then on the power play, we're going to move him. Oh, not even a first liner. Come on, EA. That's Trey Golickson's spot, and you know it, EA. We're going to put him right up there with McDavid and Dry. Now, is that what we want him with McDavid and Dry Settle, or should we take Dry Settle off the top of the unit? We're going to leave it like that. I think there's plenty of goals to go around. Uh, as far as the second unit's concerned, again, he's got to play in a second unit, too. Goal looks in. Where you at, buddy? Right wings. You would be right there. I know we're switching positions. Here you are. Uh, we're going to take Dreisel out the first unit on a four-man. Penalty kill. Make sure he's not out there. He is not. Yeah, perfect. We're ready to roll. Let's see what Trey Golickson can do. Edmonton, not looking too bad. 39 and 17, 40 and 17, holding down in the division. LA Kings trying to make some noise. Golden Knights bouncing back a little bit. At the end of the day, we don't really care how Edmonton dies. Sorry, Edmonton. I mean, we want to see them do good. Specifically in the goal scoring department. But we don't really care if they make the playoffs. As long as our man wins the Art Ross, I'm happy. Edmonton, though, they are just running a train on this league. 51 wins. They probably get about 55 if they win out. They're not going to. They're going to lose one, two in a row. Come back, beat Pittsburgh, beat San Jose. Be a playoff team, be in great position. You're going to get the Blackhawks in the first round. Can they get out of the first round? The answer is absolutely freaking lutely not, apparently. Edmonton, Dreisaitl, McDavid, and the boys bounced in the first round. Tampa, Toronto, and uh, what was that? Semifinals are big matchup. Washington, going to win the Stanley Cup. But the big question here is, can our friend Trey Golickson? That's right. We're already on first name friend basis over here. Trey Golickson. McDavid had zero. What? No goal. There ain't no wonder we lost in seven games. A point per game for McDavid's a bad year. Seven assists for Connor McDavid. You know what? Let's do a little T. 113 points. That's looking good. How'd this team look from a points forward perspective? 3.45. All right. So the goals were most definitely there. McDavid, 113 points. The points were most definitely there. Did we get the points and the goals out of Trey Golickson, though? Here we go. McDavid, 34. Dreisaitl, 39. Trey, wait for it. Golickson, 54 goals, 5 assists. That's our man right there. That's an OB stat line. That's an OB when he's a minus 35 in his prime stat line. That's what you want to see. 15.8% of the power play. He shot 341 times. That is one of the highest shot numbers I've seen in this game. That's all he can do. He didn't know how to pass. He did not play defense. It was like, uh, give me puck, I shoot, score. And it worked. Still, I'm surprised, though, that he had a lower passing or shooting percentage though, than Dreisaitl McDavid with his stats, though. Nonetheless, 59 points, 54 of them were goals. A little bit skewed there. 21 power play goals. An absolute menace on the power play. 18 minutes a night he played. Uh, so, you know, that was a first line thing. Dreisaitl only played 15. 18 out of, again, McDavid. Nothing else he's seen here. 39% of dots. So apparently his zeros on the faceoffs didn't affect him too much. His fights, he didn't have any. Takeaways, 33. Giveaways, 98. He didn't play too bad defensively. I mean, he had barely any takeaways. But for a guy that had no defense, 39 ain't, or 33 ain't bad. Big question, though. Is Trey Golickson's 52 goals enough? To win the Maurice Richard. Here we go. Art Ross McDavid. So 113 points was McDavid best in the league. So that's a good sign. That's a good start. Norris with the Tyson Barry. Edmonton taking home all the hardware minus the Stanley Cup. Zegras has been an absolute stud. Con Smythe with the OB. Speaking of goal scores, Vesna Kemper, Jennings Kemper, Master Donchara. Here we go. A Selkie Bergeron and that would be the Ted Lindsay. And Trey Golickson holding it down with the Maurice Richard. Love to see it. Guy got a 50 overall. Got him the trophy still. As always, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see us do another challenge video like this, maybe you got some idea suggestions, feel free to comment them down below. We'll try to get to them. Again, been a while since we did some challenge stuff. 
Gotta get back into this stuff. I like doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.